Tony here for this part two with Nunu and Fernando. Welcome, guys. And Hi, um, we're going straight, I think, this time for Nunu to show, you know, the advanced Docker use case using Windows Subsystem for Linux, for Linux version two. And that's, you know, the bleed edging technology at the moment. Nunu, of course. all yours, mate. Thank you, George. So uh, first of all, as we show in the others, if I uh, just launch a Windows version, it's Windows 10, it's Windows 10 Home 2004. So it's the latest, it's not uh, inside, it's really the, the preview. I got the ISO, so that's okay. It will be coming this week or the next week, I guess, during build. So um, this is a bit more advanced. So here, the prerequisites right now is that you have WSL, Okay, you have Windows 10 Home installed. You have uh, WSL uh, enabled uh, with the virtualization platform, uh, and you have already Docker. So we will make another video about that. But uh, for now, it means that here from PowerShell, if I just do a Docker version, um, Docker is running and is running on the backend um, WSL 2. OK, more to explain in another topic. So today, what I would like to show you is like how, uh, thanks to Docker, uh, and now there's more and more people doing it, but how from Docker, we have the other opportunity to install other actually um, distributions. So right now, if I want to install a distribution officially, I'll go to the store and I will search for Linux. And then I will have my, my distros here, right? So I installed Ubuntu 20.04, of course. Uh, I installed Debian, and uh, that's it for now. But then if I want another, uh, let's say, um, distribution, for me, it's uh, my preferred is Clear Linux, OK? So how can I install Clear Linux when they are not part of the store yet, OK? So the point is, like, I will run uh, a Docker container that will just pop up and crash if you want, okay? So I will run um, Docker run, and then I will uh, simply tell directly no dash uh, anything. I will just say, please Docker run clear Linux, okay? That's all. I don't have to do anything more. It created it and it crashed it. Now with the, let's say the new naming, uh, if I do a Docker container LS, but I want everything, so I have to add the dash A. Then you can see here that's okay. For my previous test, I had one, but now 40 seconds ago, I created one. That's it's Keen Carry. Perfect. Great name. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's clear this up. Now that I have my container, the second step that I can do actually is to simply um, export the container. So here I will do a Docker export. I will give it like a clear linux.tar.jz. And then it was keen carry. Okay. Correct. This command here does export into a tar file the root fs. And remember, now that's the magic terminology, <laughs> right? The root <laughs> fs has been actually downloaded inside uh, a tar file, okay, and uh, zip tar file. So now it ended. I can do a, a, a deal here. Remember, I'm still in PowerShell, right? And I have like clear, I have my test from yesterday, and then I have now my clear Linux tar JZ that I just created today, okay? Yep. So now what I will do first, I will show you that I don't have anything clear Linux running. Okay, I have my two uh, Docker desktop distributions that are running, but they are needed by Docker desktop itself, so we don't touch them. And then I have my two installed from store, Ubuntu and Debian. Okay, so I like to show the always the help because it uh, it can be it can be great to to learn actually and to to just ensure that I'm not doing any mistake. And here, arguments for managing the WSL, we have the import, okay? So what I will do now, uh, thanks to the newest terminal by uh, Microsoft, I will press the Alt Shift D key, 
which is uh, duplicate in another tab. Okay, I will zoom in. And now, thanks to the second page here, I can simply follow the, the, the help. So he wants the name of the distro first, so I will name it like clear Linux. Then where the installation will be, so I will add it into my C WSL distro. So I press tab just to for the completion and then clear Linux. And finally, he wants the, the file name. So what file uh, has the root FS, okay? So again, is the same, it's on C WSL distro and it was my clear Linux. I will force also something here. My this, uh, my WSL setup is set to have the versions in uh, version two, okay, by default, but we never know, okay? So just to be uh, verbose and uh, sure that it will work uh, the way we intended, we can add this uh, version here and I will put it the version two. Like that, I'm sure independently of what the setup is behind that this clear Linux distribution will be in version two. Press enter. It was fast, right? <laughs> so again, let me just do a WSL. So it's list and verbose. I have my clear Linux. It's stopped for now. And now there's another command here. So that's why I kept this one here open. There's the dash dash distribution or dash D is the same, right? And we can run the specified distribution. OK, so just to show you something quickly, if I run WSL just like that, it will go to my Ubuntu. OK, so if I just do the OS release, we can see it's the Ubuntu 2004. So whenever I use just the command WSL, it will always go to my Ubuntu distribution. We can see that. Let me just exit it here. Let me clear it and just do a WSL D. We can see the default. So. The default is the small star. Every time that you do a WSL, just a command, it will uh, go for the default one, okay? So here, instead of running the default, and as you can see, I don't have, um, how do you say? I don't have a clear Linux here. So that's one of the disadvantage compared to the store ones. The store ones, they have like these buttons here, they are easier, okay? Imported, are a bit more, uh, let's say, shelly <laughs> to, to use. So here I will just do the WSLD and then clear Linux. I will run and here I don't have to type anything. It just downloaded again. That's the root FS of a uh, Docker container. But here I can um, do like the swapped uh, update. So this is the package manager. So it's app get if you want, it's a software update. And then I will just update just to show you. It will connect, update started. Uh, the version was a little bit behind, but that's it. Done. We have a clear Linux uh, WSL2 distribution. How cool is that? Is that very cool? It's very cool. Means that you can bring however you want. And there's one thing like you got the, the basic clear Linux, but you could customize something, install like the tools that you want. And then once you have this Docker image with everything that you want, you could just export and you know, pretty much have a, what we used to do many years ago called VM template. <laughs> exactly. So your and, VM uh, template now yeah. is a Docker file. <laughs> yeah, gold image, yeah, like a gold image. Now you have a gold you know, Docker template that you can use as a, a Windows subsystem for Linux distribution. I think this is, is amazing. So in short, we cloned a container inside the Windows subsystem for Linux, right? Like an image. So, so cool. yes. Yeah, so the, the point is like, remember, if you go Docker search, let's, uh, let's does the, our friends, by the way, I use Arch. Um, so we have also the Arch Linux, for example, but here you can search for Arch, you can search for, um, 
other distributions. I don't have them top of my head, but I know there's like Oracle, for example, Fedora, there's there, CentOS, it's there also. So the point is like, once you know that a distribution, a base of the distribution is there, so it's deprecated, so I will not use it, but, uh, uh, oh, it's this one now, okay. So this one is the Arch Linux. So in, while this one is uh, updating quickly, so I'll call again Docker run, I don't add anything. The point I will maybe just add this time, just a name, just to make it shorter. But when you know what you are doing, you do the Docker run, it will, okay, I don't have it, but it will like pull it. As you can see, it's not very big, 169 megabytes. It's almost nothing. Yes, so it's awesome. I uh, abandoned my Linux uh, desktop and I work only with Windows now because I can run any distro. Yeah, exactly. So you have the store. So the store releases, again, they have something prepared. They have the icons. They have a lot of things. And you call them also by their just their name. Here we are always using WSL. But uh, for example, you could take uh, another one and uh, let me exit here. Ubuntu, normally I have the exit. So I can also do something with it. Clear Linux that I just did. As you can see, all my clears, it's commands, normal commands. Clear L, it doesn't, it, I'm, I'm spamming the tab key here, but it doesn't know it, right? So distributions, if you have them in store, go for the store, okay? But if you want your own distribution, your very own distribution, like you like it, okay? So here again, I will just do the export of Arch, star JZ of Arch. So Arch here is the name of the container that I created just before, okay? So once you have that, then uh, if you know that your company needs a specific uh, distribution uh, configured that you need to run on WSL for whatever reason, then, well, you, I mean, the import uh, feature is like, uh, it will save you hours, believe me. Yes. I see that um, Nunu is, you know, a game changer for education as well. Imagining, you know, a teacher that want to have this environment ready, he can use Docker for sure. But, you know, if they want to have like a share and really for the students understand how Linux works, I think it's amazing thing, you know, because now you can even play with multiple distros and, um, and it'll be completely integrated with the Windows as well, then it'll be easier for them. And on the enterprise, I see development environments uh, for the developer. We can have mm -hmm. these all ready to go and to onboard new developers will be easier and easier. Yeah. So it's, uh, remember, the strength, I mean, what we are doing here is almost Docker. So use Docker for your, let's say, your loads of CICDs and stuff like that, right? But then if you have your environments where you need maybe some accesses, some files, windows okay that's where suddenly you're running your loads inside wsl that is running inside either windows 10 home as a, as a developer windows 10 pro or like you said george even wsl on windows server right yeah so, that would be a great one a big one and um, mm -hmm. i think windows Server in home edition you know it's going to open like in brazil we know that people don't have these like Maybe they have four gig or eight gig, uh, and they have Windows Home, like education, schools, you know, and um, universities as well. And exactly. I think it'll be very, very helpful for mm -hmm. you know, have a bigger community involved, and you know, with access to all these technologies and. I don't know, and to learn Linux, I mean, you don't have to spin up like the VM, like you say. So if you want to learn the commands. The majority of them they will be here you might miss something here and there but that to learn the basics wsl is is huge and then you might want to go further you might want to learn linux really on maybe a vm or maybe uh, install it on your computer and then you are no more lost with all the basic um let's say commands so you can really install it understand where you, where you are and just follow your learning journey. 
it's I, I think it's the entry point, the perfect entry point for Linux learning, really. That's great. No, 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 no. For, <laughs> for us to, to, to finish this video, can you just open the browser there and show, you know, where they can find more knowledge? And I know that you're writing a lot of blogs and so WSL I, dev. True. I have my own WSL.dev, thanks to Brian Kettleson. Um, the .dev part, <laughs> that was crazy to have, so I don't know how he made it. But here you will have quite, uh, let's say, still this one is quite advanced, maybe uh, posts, um, because I'm really playing, integrating Docker, Kubernetes, a lot of things together, cloud native uh, technology with WSL. But uh, you can have this one. Um, we have our Aiden friends. Uh, it's what like box uh, of cables, I think. Right. Dot com, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I will search for it. But um, he has Aiden has also a, a huge, a huge blog that can help. Also, it's the let's say the founder creator of Penguin, and then he. Now he's on Ubuntu. Oh, and of course, <laughs> my bad, yes. Ubuntu.org, I think. Ubuntu.org? Dot com, maybe dot com. What the hell? Okay. Ubuntu, I'm not sure. Dot com. And then there you go. we have like WSL, just like that, I think. Yes. This one amazing stuff by Ubuntu, by Aiden and the team, not only him now, but uh, we have a lot here, uh, why Ubuntu install it, but it's why Ubuntu, but always with WSL in mind, right? So Correct. it explains a lot, the first step, so go there. I think that's great and uh, well done. I think Nuno is a Docker captain now and Microsoft MVP for Windows Insiders and WSL. You're doing a great job. Thanks a lot, Nuno and Fernando for participating. And we talk soon. Thanks. Thank